In this video, we'll be looking at the iLock License Manager and how we can transfer licenses between iLocks and between our account and our iLocks. I already have other iLock Manager videos posted, one that features an overview and another that shows activating of brand new licenses. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out those videos. In this video, we're going to focus on the transferring of licenses from iLock to iLock or iLock into our account, activate and deactivate our licenses. So first we'll sign in. So now that we are signed in, we can see our iLocks that we currently have plugged in over on this side. You'll see one iLock that I have is grayed out. That's because it's not plugged into this machine. Of course, we have our tabs up here, our available, all activations, unavailable licenses that we have. We can choose an iLock, so I'll choose the one named iLock 3, which is an iLock version 2, as you can tell from the picture. And then I'll choose iLock 1, and let me choose a license to say deactivate. So I can choose this Pro Tools 9, and I have a few options that I can do. I could right click and choose deactivate. If I wanted to transfer the license, I could do that. So transfer to someone else, type in my password here, click next. And this is where I would transfer to another user. So I would enter in the iLock user ID of the person say I sold the license to, I would have to pay a $25 fee and then the license would be deposited in their account. But this video is not really focusing on that. What we're focusing on is transferring the license between our own iLock and our own account. So I could right click and I could say deactivate. And this will confirm deactivation. Click OK. Operation is in progress. Now we have successfully deactivated that license and it's no longer appearing on our iLock 1. So we could go to my account, just click my name up here. And now we see we have a Pro Tools 9 license in our account, but it's not anywhere. We could go to available and say, oh, there it is right there as available. So one way to place this license on an iLock would be again to right click and this time choose activate. This brings up a menu and gives you an option of what iLock you would like to choose depending on which ones are currently plugged into your system. So I'll just choose the one it was already on and just click activate. Then we'll confirm and it's been successfully activated. So now when we click back to our iLock 1, we see Pro Tools 9 activation is back on the iLock. Now another way we could deactivate a license would be to just grab it and drop it on our account. And you don't have to do this one at a time. We could actually do multiples. So I'll just click the Pro Tools 9, then I'll shift click up here on Sound Replacer, and that grabs three licenses. I could say deactivate, and that will say you're about to deactivate three licenses. I'll hit cancel. Another thing I could do is grab all three. Immediately the number three pops up, and I could just drag and drop it on top of my iLock account name. And then you could confirm your deactivation. So sure, why not? And now we have successfully deactivated three licenses all at once. And just because they're deactivated doesn't mean we lost our licenses. We still have our licenses. We can now click the available tab and here they are in the available tab. So what do you say we reactivate these licenses? I'll choose my Pro Tools 9. This time I'm going to control click the other ones. And again, we could right click and choose activate or we could grab all three at once and drag to the iLock of our choice. So I'll just drop them here and I'll confirm the activation for my three licenses. And there we go, successful activation. So we'll click our iLock 1, and now our licenses are right back where they were. So now let's look at moving licenses between iLocks. So here is Slate Digital VCC RC Tube, and we can see here at the side that a valid location would be an iLock version 2 or an iLock version 1. So say we don't want to deactivate this license, but I want this license on my iLock 1 because I'm going to take my iLock 1 to a different computer and I need that license on my iLock 1, while the iLock named iLock 3 will be staying on this computer, I'll need my iLock 1 at a different computer. So currently this RC tube license is on iLock 3. So let's move it to iLock 1. We could deactivate it and then move it, or we can just move it directly from where it is now to iLock 1. So right now it's on 3, let's just grab it and move it right to iLock 1. So we're clicking, holding, drag right over top of the name and release and click OK and you've successfully moved that license. All right, so now we go to our iLock 1. We can see our RC tube license is now on iLock 1. So now I could pull that iLock out, take it on to my other system that I want to use that plugin on. Really easy. So now let's say I'm done working on my other computer with my iLock 1, and I want my RC tube license back on my iLock version 2, which is named iLock 3. So again, I could just grab this and drag it over. I could right click it and choose activate, even though it's already activated. It's on iLock 1. I could choose activate 
and then choose the other iLock on my account and do it that way. But say I want to move a couple licenses, well I can do that too. So I'll choose the RC tube and I don't know, let's just grab in tune here. I'll control click, now I have two. And again, I can right click and choose activate and choose iLock three and click activate and that will move both at once. Or I can just grab them and drag and drop right on top of the name. Whichever is easiest for you, choosing the menu or dragging and dropping. Also, if you don't want to right click, you could come up to licenses here in the file bar and choose activate, deactivate from here as well. And there are some other options in here, such as your view options. So let's grab these two licenses off our iLock 1 and drag them to iLock 3. So we'll grab them, immediately a 2 pops up letting us know we have two licenses and drag and drop. Confirm the move, all right successfully move. So we click the iLock 3 and now our licenses are on that iLock. So as you can see it's very easy to move licenses from iLock to iLock or from your iLock to your account and then at a later date move them back, move them back and forth, move them however you want. And there are all kind of different reasons why you might want to move licenses back and forth. So one reason might be, say I want to launch Pro Tools 11, but when I launch Pro Tools 11 right now, it's going to be launching Pro Tools HD 11 because I have an HD license and an 11 license. So if I just want to launch Pro Tools 11, I can easily just take my HD license, drag it right on top of my name and simply release. Or I could right click and deactivate and then simply launch Pro Tools and then Pro Tools 11 will come up. And if I want to run Pro Tools HD 11, simply come back to my iLock License Manager. I would go to Available and I would just drag that license onto a compatible iLock. Now what would happen if we took say Pro Tools 11, which is only compatible with an iLock version 2, and tried to place that on say the computer activation, which is not compatible at this time. So we'll just grab it and drag it on top and release. And you'll see we get an error saying this license is not compatible with that sort of location. So click all right. So now what if we tried to move the Pro Tools 11 license to a first generation iLock? So in this case, it's named iLock 1. So we'll just grab this license Again, it's currently on an iLock 2, which is named iLock 3 in this case. And we'll just drop it right on top of iLock 1. And there you go. It says this is not a valid location. So be sure to pay attention to the valid locations here on the side of your information screen. So that should give you an idea of how to move licenses between your iLock and between your iLock account. It's very easy to do with a simple drag and drop or a simple right click or coming up to a menu and choosing what you want to do with that particular license or licenses all at one time. So before we finish up, I'm going to move those licenses back to where they originally were just to show that everything worked. So I'll grab these two, I'll click one and I'll either shift or control click the other. Doesn't matter in this case. And I think I want these on a first generation iLock. Let's try to activate them on the iLock that's not currently plugged in. And there you go, target location is not connected. So let's put them on the first generation iLock that is plugged in. Just drag and drop. I find drag and drop to be a very natural way to do it, though if you prefer the menu based approach, you can do that as well. Either way, you're accomplishing the same thing. There we go. Successful move. And I'll just mention you also have options over here at the side. So if I choose a license, then all of a sudden these options are now available to me. Again, I could right click and choose activate or deactivate. I could go to licenses, choose activate or deactivate. I could grab it and then drag it to my account name right where my name is and let go and that would deactivate or I could move it to another valid location, just drag and drop or I could come up here to the right hand side and say click the X and deactivate or I could select the license and choose activate to activate it that way. So you have several options to activate, deactivate, to move your licenses around from your iLock and your iLock account. I hope this video has made you more comfortable with the iLock License Manager. So there's no reason to be scared of the iLock License Manager. Now you know exactly how it works. Drag and drop or a menu based or a button based approach. It's very easy to use and accomplish exactly what you want to do. Of course you can learn more about iLock and the iLock License Manager at iLock.com.